Tonight we have new details about the mass murder suicide in Henrietta. Police say Jesse McFadden killed six people then himself. Now new documents show McFadden could have planned the whole thing. News 9's Angelisi Bruton has more from the search warrants. An affidavit for a search warrant says McFadden spoke to his mother the day before the bodies were found. He told her he was going to kill himself. New details show Jesse McFadden might have been on edge about charges he was facing for a crime he committed in prison involving an underage girl. He was due in court May 1st. A search warrant shows the day before he told his mom he wasn't going back to prison and that he decided to kill himself. You're a registered sex offender, a pedophile. You do your full time. You know, I'm, there should be no getting out. This could have all been prevented. This was the same day McFadden allegedly killed his wife and her three children, along with two teenage girls that were spending the weekend with the family before killing himself. One of those victims was Shannon Boykin's granddaughter, Ivy Webster. I'm pissed and I'm hurt. I want her back. Court documents say Webster's family spoke to Ivy Saturday, the 29th. The next day, they say they were able to reach McFadden when she didn't come home. But the call dropped. Other documents show investigators are searching for DNA, weapons, electronic devices, and materials associated with sexual exploitation. In his truck, they confiscated keys, a straw, and they're processing photos from a DVD found. They also looked into a storage unit, but no items of interest were found. As for the house, there's no details mentioning what was found inside. Had my daughter known the conditions of that house, it wouldn't have happened. I don't know how kids were living there. The Okmulgee County Deputy Clerk says there are several more search warrants, but the returns have not been filed yet. In Oklahoma City, Angelicia Bruton, Oklahoma Zone, News 9.